गुड इवनिंग टू आम माय जर्नी टू टुवर्ड्स द यूएचपी स्टार्टेड इन 2016 डॉक्टर रंजनी पार्सार दी मैन हैज लेड ए टीम टू आई ट्रिपल आई टी तीर्पदी इन दैट टीम माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर रघुवीरा फ्रॉम आईएसटी डॉक्टर राजेश वेरी फ्रॉम केमिस्ट्री लेनिन फ्रॉम सेंटर फॉर वाटर रिसोर्स we five or six went to triple it tirupati for four days program we have attended it the program is very nice after coming from the program in the evening also we always use to discuss once we attend, uh, attended that one in 2018 ma'am started ranjini pasar the ma'am started the course uh, induction program in anna university Uh, that time it is three day program and seven day program level zero and level one programs so from 2018 we started training for our faculty all the four campuses of university departments in 2018 we have totally conducted six three day level zero workshops there 968 faculties were trained and two seven days level one workshop were conducted 242 participants were participated are more than 1000 uh, faculties are trained in 2018 itself and our universities all the four departments have started the um, student induction program from the 2018 and it, it, it is going on successfully every year so uh, sip that is student induction program uhv1 is going on from 2018 and affiliated colleges have started the uh, student induction program from 2019 all affiliated colleges are have started that one in 2019 to 20 academic year we have conducted four three days level zero workshops and uh, five out five faculties were participated and three seven days workshops there 299 faculties were participated so around 800 uh, faculties were trained in 2019 to 20 and in 2020 we faced that uh, covid period so aict has started online training so the first meeting online training in may 2020 for the tamil nadu region that time um, our dean ma'am have attended uh, it is for all higher officials where 115 institutes have been participated and it is a five day program there 80 faculties uh, 115 institutes and from our campus it is 80 faculties have participated so uh, most of the faculties from university have completed this course so other than the ceg in 2018 we have conducted the workshops for psg college of technology uh, these are the colleges psg college francis xavier college saranathan college of engineering panimalar engineering college ishwar engineering college and ishwar engineering college has conducted both level 0 and level 1 and they have conducted more courses also ishwar engineering college have conducted two times in the november itself two times and in december mostly that time they have conducted the level 0 and after a break they conduct the level 1 when they are coming for level 1 we will ask for the feedback what is your uh, view after or what is your experience after attending the feedback like that they have conducted then rs engineering college next next uh, national engineering college kovilpatti rs engineering college and our campus psg institute of technology bs abdur rahman and our campus so up to 2019 we have conducted these many workshops and all the faculties have been trained using this workshop and then because of covid we didn't have any offline workshops then it ha- instead of level 0 and level 1 it became online five day course introductory uhv course so from 2020 we are having only online uhv 1 level courses then in 2022 we have conducted uhv 2 in this 80 participants from uh, it is aict funded program and uh, all the colleges from tamil nadu kerala Uh, and the andhra they have come and attended this course and in 2023 uh, we have conducted under 24 also we have conducted the uhv for non teaching faculty also after conducting the uh, course for non teaching faculty uh, I, i know that 
getting work from or some documents or any help from the office may be difficult before. Now, if I go and ask for any help in my office, they say, for UHB ma'am, I am helping. <laughs> like that they will say. I am helping you. Ma'am, you are UHB ma'am. When are you conducting for us next program? The, uh, the non-teaching faculty, they are so interested in this and they, are, they like it very much. So we have conducted uh, four such programs. These are the few um, photos we have taken in the UHP 2. It is in the 2022 and 2023 also. So actually the UHP cell members are, we are the members. I, it, it has to be um, updated. This is old one. Uh, the activities we are conducting, uh, we are involving with the UHP cell is at present conduct of student induction program and FDPs. Uh, hereafter, we will be having, we are trying to have monthly meetings. And uh, so these are the trained faculty details in our campus. Uh, whenever I go for a meeting in our department, if I try to talk means, first thing I will ask means, if any faculty is uh, interested in volunteering for UHB, please join with me. Like that, I will ask. Uh, after the re faculty recruitment, I also, uh, uh, after the introduction process, I told, I am the UHB cell member. If you are interested, please join with me, like that I told. Then Sri Darshini and Sangeeta of our department, the volunteer, they have volunteered, and they are doing very well. Uh, uh, actually, the <laughs> last two days, that is uh, day before yesterday, and yesterday I was absent. Without my presence, they have arranged everything well. And night only, I, uh, evening like that, I came and joined. Their work is uh, commendable. And my team, uh, mostly by whatever class I am going, I will ask the students to come and help me in UHV. So this time, I asked the PG students to come for me. And they have also come. So it's not that only whoever is associated with me, I will get their help. Uh, so they are helping me. So these are the trained faculty de details. Most of the faculty of our university have completed UHV 1. UHV 2 we have to do. Uh, that is the portion. So this is the almost 100 percentage we are having the faculty trained in UHV 1. And we need faculty for UHV 2 if we are going to implement. Next. This is one of the student's feedback. Uh, he told that the right understanding the, I, all the students I have asked is, they don't know before this one. They, uh, their thinking is, what is the need for this education? After attending the student induction program, they told that the necessity of right understanding and the um, need for value education. From the student side, after the student induction program, it has a very good response. So we can proceed with this one. And uh, actually, that student induction program is available only for UG students. For PG students, it is not there. So whenever I take class, after completing two units, I will take one hour for UHV. Just and what is the need, self and body, and uh, right understanding, that in trust, up to trust, like in very short form, I will uh, mostly introduce. Com uh, compared to our aged faculty, the younger generation is so fast in accepting it, that I have uh, experienced with my son also. So this is one of the students' feedback, and this is the next schedule uh, from the morning to evening. Uh, dean, ma'am, and the team is regularly conducting from 2018. Here, one session is for universal human values. Before handling the UHV. Uh, uh, RP ma'am, Randini Parsarthi ma'am will conduct a three days or five days uh, workshop to the faculties because they may forget it. So they will, uh, ma'am will arrange the uh, workshop in TAG auditorium. Again, we will discuss what are the, how we can proceed with the student induction program. So this is the schedule. Okay, next. This is the status of this one. Uh, how many, these things already I told. Next, next. Uh, 
future plan we are having for uh, we have to update the cell UHV cell is to be updated for all the four campuses we need coordinators and uh, conducting the FDP for on universal human values web page web page creation and updation and uh, bringing this one to affiliated colleges also that is the future plan activities already we have made that uh, SIP uh, mandatory and the FDP we are conducting for all and another thing I, uh, uh, I observed with the non-teaching faculty is whenever any visit or something is coming we need a lot of documentation that time I told them for the betterment of university we have to work together so any document is given for circular please see that it is going to the concerned faculty and please get the reply from the faculty and even for this workshop through uh, through the non-teaching faculty I get some details from each department how many faculty are attending like that so that cooperation between among all faculty members non-teaching every uh, and students it gets improved by this program so we are planning for affiliated colleges M MDP that is uh, leadership development program and the management development program these are the future plans okay, with this I complete the implementation of UHV in the thank you sir thank you all